In this video, we'll look at what happens when we have HF in H2O. So this is hydrofluoric acid plus water. We know it's an acid, we have that H in front. And hydrofluoric acid is very corrosive. It'll dissolve glass, dissolve rock, even ceramic. But it's a weak acid. And really the only way for you to know that is to have memorized the strong acids. So here's a table with the strong acids. And we don't see HF on the list of strong acids. We see HCl, HBr, and HI, but not HF. So HF, because it's not on the list of strong acids, it's a weak acid. That's just something you need to memorize. There's a link in the description of this video to a discussion about why this is considered a weak acid, why HF is a weak acid. I'm not going to go into that here. It's kind of lengthy. But we know that HF is a weak acid, so it's only going to partially dissociate into its ions. That means when we put HF in water, when HF is in water, it will only partially dissociate or break apart into H plus and F minus. So we can write that over here, H plus plus F minus. These will be aqueous because they're dissolved in the water here. And you'll sometimes see H2O written above the arrow, but since we have aqueous, I'm not going to write that there. Speaking of that arrow, because it's a weak acid, we're going to have an equilibrium. So some of this will dissolve, dissociate into the ions, but then some of the ions, they'll come back together into the HF. It's at equilibrium. One last thing. The H+, plus, when we have this H+, plus here, it's actually going to join on to one of the water molecules. It's aqueous. It's in water. So H+, plus will join with the water molecule to make H3O+. Plus. This is the hydronium ion. So most of the time you see it written like this, but sometimes you'll see H3O plus here in place of the H plus. It's really the same thing. So to recap, HF is a weak acid. It only dissociates partially into its ions. That's why I have this equilibrium here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.